got to send up. He's got to send up. It. So she's going to send uh, Josh the Teams link. Okay. Josh, Lisa's is sending you a Teams link to get us hooked up. Okay, so you're in, so he'll get it up and going. And we'll get it up and running if you're not in and running back in. Okay. Is Charlie supposed to be Perfect. Thank you. Yes, it is. 65, I think. I thought it was his birthday. His wife is up bright and early. Yes. He won't be coming. He's excused. So if we could maybe just hold off a minute or two, because we're going to get everything set up. And then uh, Doug Herman from Lynch, Dallas, the city rep, will also be joining us through. Happy oh, birthday, yeah. Charlie! <laughs> I gave an excuse. <laughs> you did this, didn't you? No, your wife oh. did this morning. Yes. <laughs> she can't be trusted. <laughs> Dude, if it was your birthday, they would have brought you some day old cake or something. You'd think they'd bring me something. We would have at least got you a little crown or something to wear up there. <laughs> yeah. Tiara? Yeah. Maybe I still yeah. have one downstairs. I could go look. No, that's right. <laughs> that's all right. What happens in City Hall stays in City Hall. I think there's an old man. Yeah, they're about there, to record you know. it, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> the walker. So now you can tell everybody what it feels like to turn 50. Again? Again. <sighs> Not turning 50. How many? You don't mind my asking. 65. Good for you. I get Sorry, Social Security. I get, I get to not go to work tomorrow if I want. <laughs> but you're going. I, yeah. <laughs> My financial manager is, is comfortable in the, in the way that she's living right now, so she would oh, prefer that, <laughs> that I continue. Is he? He can control the slide too. We're going to get everything set up. We're sure. Set up on here, Josh. Okay, it's going to pop. Okay. Four, three on? Yeah. Uh, almost six. Oh, the new one. Well, they got no pension. Oh, don't they? Oh, I didn't know that. No, anybody new going there is just a 401k. Okay. They're, they're, they had two pensions, and or since they've opened up, they, they quit doing. So, oh, 12. 13, 14 years ago, they just went to a 401k. Well, you should be able to talk over the overhead. Mm -hmm. All to that can you hear us? Hands. Doug, can you hear us? You're muted, Doug. His microphone's muted. Yeah, thank you. <coughs> Doug, can you hear us? Doug, can you hear us? Doug, can you hear us now? I guess I could really talk bad about him right now, couldn't I? Did he hear you? <laughs> and he looked. <laughs> Doug? Nope. No go, Josh. Well, there's a there's a no microphone. You might have to have a, something cleared on that. Wow. On the screen up there. It says no microphone on the yeah, screen. Yeah, Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. 
mic. Doug, can you hear us? Yeah, but he. You want to call him? Yeah. That way it doesn't echo. Yeah. Sure, rings. Yes. We can hear you. Uh, maybe it was I just love it when they put their face closer. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm going to hang up and text you so we don't get all the echo. Okay, I'm going to look at City of Clinton external on my screen and has the microphone and line to it. Okay. to go to 25. Oh. Damn it. I wonder where my card is. You've only got two more years left. Thank, wow. thank goodness. <laughs> See, that makes me wonder how far I have to go. That's how old I am. i got a senior pass to all the national parks. Mm -hmm. Oh, my parents have one of those. They must be old. <laughs> well, I don't think they're old, but apparently they're old yeah. enough to have a senior pass. Because <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> they're 70, 78. That's what I, I don't know. 76. Yeah, there's some. Yeah. I have to do the Everything's set up on our end. Yeah. Veteran, too. Oh, well, I should get all of your cards with you. I think mine are all in a pile somewhere. Are you in? I've got a pile with whatever cards. I was going to say, I wonder if you talk. Okay, I wonder if you. Can I ask a stupid question? Sure. If he knew we were all coming here and we're going to be here at a certain time on a certain day, why wasn't this all done beforehand? Hmm. You'd have to ask the person in the control room that. I'm just saying that's what I would have done, but I... Yeah. Fully agree. Uh, no, I think he is at the Cedar Rapids office. That doesn't look like his ho um, his home office. That looks like the Cedar Rapids. Just waiting for the meeting to start, and I finally get that. I got one. It's on the east coast. But it depends. Some days he's in both. He'll be out at Cedar Rapids in the morning, and then back in his place. Still want to come out. When are you going to have that house down? 
Oh, okay. Two separate emails. Yeah. 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 So you can come back anyway. Well, you yeah. have to come back. Oh. Um, three been made this morning. Jay was alone. Really? I'm like, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a big company, too. He usually loves. Well, Jay is. Between the two. Jay's just slow. I had to get on him several times for smoothies. Doug, can you hear us? Yeah, I don't know why now we got some static in the background, but I can hear you. Okay. Everything else ready though, if we want to get started? Thank you. Okay, we have 4.12 um, p.m. So here's our agenda. First, we can do roll call. Um, so do we want to start on the right? Do you want to give your name, please? Don Hanson. Paul Betterwick. Tammy Ebensberger. Charlene Nicoletto. Lou Ray. Bob Krinovich. Charlie Graff. So we do we have anyone who would like to review the minutes from September 14th, 2022? Um, if there are any changes we should make. Make a motion we approve the minutes as, uh, as good. We have all them. Right. Okay. Um, all in favor to approve the minutes? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. So now we have a resolution, which is 2022-569, which is approving an agreement with Farwell Brune Legal Counsel. So, I'll Did read. everybody get a, counsel, oh. a copy of that resolution? Yes. Okay. That was put in the packet, um, so just everybody understands that the council reviewed and the resolution was passed. I'm not sure, Doug, if you want to say anything on that resolution, but I just provided the board a copy of the resolution that the council passed and signed, uh, appointing uh, Mr. Broom to legal counsel for the Housing Board of Appeals. Yes, it's just I think just to make sure everybody's on the same page, and I think you've all talked about this. I know Pat O'Connell was involved uh, more than I was, but the purpose behind this or the reason for it is that there can sometimes be a conflict between code enforcement or city staff, if you will, and uh, the board, or, you know, I'll put it another way, the staff is entitled to an attorney to represent them and present their arguments before the board, uh, but the board needs to be an independent body and they make decisions on their own, and that's the reason for the board to have their own legal counsel in those situations. Thank you. Any yeah. questions or discussion on the resolution? I think is the purpose for putting mm -hmm. it in there. I do have a question. Does this mean you're going to be present at every meeting or just when we need you? That's an excellent question because I'm not even sure about that. I, I, my assumption was that I would be present when you needed me. If there were legal issues that needed to be addressed, uh, I would be present. And, and uh, if there's an agenda where there's going to be no legal issues, I probably wouldn't need to be present. Okay. Thank you. And then the other page that we received was a letter um, from Farwell and Brune, which kind of describes the, the same thing. And so then I think what we could do is, if we wanted to, if we were in the middle of something we had questions, we could probably move to adjourn, right, and ask the lawyer to come in for a meeting. Is that what we could do? Are you able to hear them? Thank you. 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 Thank you.
It is on. Uh huh. Doug, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, what the uh, what the question was is is so if the board is having a hearing and they have a question for legal counsel, would that be something? Would they call for a recess or would they? How how would that be handled? If they need to feel they need to talk yeah, to counsel. Sure, I think there'd be a few options. I think, of course, the best case scenario is to do do our best, if you will, to identify in advance if they believe there's going to be a need for counsel and have that arranged in advance. Um, in those circumstances where it does not look like uh, the board needs legal counsel for something on the agenda and all of a sudden in the midst of a meeting they decide that they probably should have or need more information, um, I think uh, one of two things could happen. Um, one, tend to take a recess and see if uh, legal counsel is available uh, potentially by phone or to be involved in some virtual manner at that time or to recess and, and uh, reschedule uh, a reconvening of that meeting, if you will, to continue whatever the discussion is. So, how how might we know beforehand? Like, like we get the packet. Um, like, like when we're going through them, yeah, we usually have questions. Um, you know, in our own mind, like, should we be, or can we email the group? Um, or how will we know that we might need you, I guess? Um, like if yeah, with regard to the board, I'm oh, sorry. I was just saying with regard to, to that, you, you know, I, I know um, I would even maybe put a little bit of a burden, if you will, on code enforcement. They'll have a feel for maybe how... Uh, the, what level of controversy there is with regard to a pending issue. So they're going to put a packet together and get it to you. I think code enforcement would say, you know what, this might be one of those circumstances where you want to involve uh, the attorney. Um, or they could say, you know, this is, you know, this isn't quite so onerous and we don't really know that anybody's going to show up. We don't think this is going to be a big deal kind of issue. The facts are pretty clear. Uh, you know, never telling you you can't involve uh, your attorney. Uh, but kind of giving you a feel for how they see it. And then I think as a group, as you review your packet, um, I think it would be difficult for you all to communicate amongst yourselves about it uh, via email for fear of being accused of an open meeting type violation. But I think any of you could call the chair um, and say, you know what, when I read through the packet and the information from code enforcement, I really think we're going to want our attorney there. And, and maybe just as a group, uh, come up with what your policy is going to be in that regard. So if one member says I really want the attorney there, is that enough? Or if the chair gets a call from two members or more that say we really would, we really would like to have our attorney at this meeting, um, that that would be the standard to follow then to, to have Mr. Groom be part of the meeting. Yeah, that makes sense. One of the things that we will be doing is 